Yo, 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 what is good, everybody? Welcome to my second stream here on 343 TV. Uh, my name is Dane. Um, I, I think I need to slow down a little bit from last time and kind of introduce myself. Um, I'm Dane. I am a teacher here at 343. <clears throat> I also produce under the name Great Dane, and I've been putting out music for... Uh, like eight or nine years now. Um, and, you know, I DJ and 
just do all the music stuff pretty much um but yeah i moved to new york recently and uh 343 has kind of been like my new home here as a uh, music kind of instructor i used to teach in la um, at a different school and now i'm in new york um 343 is a physical school you can go to and come take classes with me what's up william what's up Roshane, how do you say your name? Roshane, I like your name. <clears throat> Let me know if you guys can't hear me or if there's any technical issues. Um, but yeah, if you're in the East Coast, um, you can come through, check out the school. It's pretty awesome. It's on like the ninth floor of this baller building in um, in on the twenty third on twenty third Street. And like, I'm from California, so like, big buildings are just amazing to me. Like, I just think it's so cool to like just explore like that whole area and um they they just like opened this new school and it's like pristine condition really really nice monitors and um yeah i do classes there i'm teaching like an intro to ableton class right now and i'm teaching um a vocal production class is coming up soon <clears throat> what else am i teaching oh arrangement composition um so yeah come through uh 343's got like pretty much everything product production wise that you could need. Like they have online classes and these streams, which are I think daily um, and they're free, which is cool. Uh, but definitely if you want to get a little more in depth and kind of like have me like look at your music or have other teachers like actually help you with what you're working on, definitely like hopefully you'll get more interested and come through and like come meet us in person. Um, but if you're not in the East Coast or you're not in New York, I think you, you could also be technically in berlin that would be cool um but if you're not in those two cities then yeah definitely lots of online stuff you can do as well um sweet you can hear me okay great um yeah so a lot of you i feel like simple sam you were here last week for sure and you know i felt like i kind of started this beat that <clears throat> oh also sorry before i <laughs> while while i'm still plugging everything um uh, i was supposed to let you know that there's also uh a sale because of black friday and sorry this is my last plug and then we'll get into some beats but uh the sale consists of 45 percent off all the courses and 25 percent off the course bundles and in order to access the sale uh you just have to visit 343labs.com um and you will be prompted to leave your email and then you can get the sale cool i think that's everything i need to say um definitely take advantage of that if you can um I think the one-on-one -on -one stuff or like the actual classes are probably a little more beneficial than the streams, but you know, streams are cool too. It's just, you know, it's a little more one-sided because you guys are just listening to me. I'm not really fully seeing what you're working on, um, but you know, you're here, so you're doing something right. So good job. Um, all right, let's work on some beats. Uh, last week I started this beat that I wasn't sure if I was like, if it was going well or not. Um, what up, Will? Yeah. Welcome. Um, I wasn't sure if it was going well, but the next day I looked at it and I was like, damn, like there's a lot of good stuff in here. So I kind of turned it into something really cool. And I think I want to keep working on the same beat just to kind of like show you the progression from last week. And um, I'm not sure if the first stream was archived, but maybe if you like go check out that one, you can check out like how this one started, like from the very, very, very like beginning. Um, and then maybe today we'll take it to like, I don't know if we'll get to the finish line, but, um, I've been working on it all week. So it's, it's, it's close. Like it's, it's pretty good, but, um, definitely needs more work. So let's hop into it. <clears throat> all right. So yeah, let me just, uh, play it here.
Yeah, so um, definitely some cool ideas in there. And I don't think like, you know, this is the, the intro stuff and like the part that I just left it on is like, you know, like it's almost like a, uh, like a trick because it's not really the vibe. Like it's almost like intentionally corny or like not corny, but just not like hip hop it's 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 got that like kind of polo and pan um carnival kind of feeling and i like that it starts like that i mean i i feel like when i i feel like the majority of my first stream was like kind of doing that part and i was like a little bit self-conscious i was like i don't know if like this is the best representation of like what i can do but then like right towards the end i started making this like trappier section <laughs> And I feel like, okay, now this is like a great Dane beat. Um, and <clears throat> and now it's like something I can like really chip away at. Um, I feel like the beat's pretty much good to go. Like definitely want to do some more work in the intro to spice it up. Um, but on the drop here, I feel like it's a really interesting. Actually, I had an idea as I was listening to it. I felt like this little thing. is a cool like um it's like almost like a little tail that you could put in the drop even though there's no also i think i could do a lot more like droppiness stuff here i mean i like that it's just kind of like a groove you know but you know i think there's just a lot more room to like because this this hat thing i kind of like Like, I think it's almost too loopy. Like, I could just do, like, a little bit of that. Maybe some more hat stuff. Um. <clears throat> what up, y'all? Uh, Enigmatic Onion. Bro, I remember you from last name. That's last time. That's a very uh, rem memorable name. What's your, what's your real name? Um, learning how to use a learning how to create a virtual machine so I can use some Apple software for my production on my PC. Yeah, you can definitely do that. I know people have uh, PCs that they like pretty much turn into Macs. I'm not sure. I mean, you're probably much more on top of that than I am, but good luck to you. Um, so first thing I want to do kind of like to spice this up is leave more gaps, like especially this, this hat pattern, I feel like is like a little, um, it's just like too consistent. Like I could do more choppy like things. Like if I just kind of cut stuff out, like. And this hat too. Yeah, like already just um, even without adding anything new, that is a much cooler drop because these gaps, these empty spots, your brain kind of fills in. I don't know. It just feels cooler to hear nothing. You know what I mean? But um, I mean, it doesn't have to be nothing, but I think that like first step is to put 
gaps so that you kind of your brain kind of starts to like fill in the gaps with like other ideas you know like <clears throat> i want to do crazier like sounds i mean i don't want to get too crazy right away i want to like build into like crazier modular stuff and like crazier kind of like bass music but um definitely some room i think to that's pretty cool I think I already used this in my, one of my songs, so I might not want to use this one, but. Like even just that little like See, it's like, now it's like too much, you know? It's like, I'm just like trying to do everything at once, but that's kind of my, my go-to method is to like, just put everything in and then like, um, come back later and delete stuff. Let me, let me check on the chat. See what you guys are talking about. Um, Josh, cool. Your name's Josh. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> um, homage to death grips. All right, sick. Uh, all right, well, we'll see you in a sec. Um, cool. Yeah, if you guys have any, uh, if you have any specific questions or like comments or whatever about this track or you want to see something in general on Ableton, uh, let me know and I can do that. Um, but until I get any specific stuff t to redress, I'll just keep, you know, working on this beat. <laughs> Yo, what up, Michael? I like when people call me big dog. Like, I like these little things. I think, like, more. <laughs> that shit's hard. <clears throat> um, what else could I do? I mean, what I really need is more bass, like. <laughs> I think it needs like a vocal too. Come on. You dream. That's kind of cool. That's 
that's the best part. <laughs> I think my favorite thing that I've added so far is this. That's just like a nice like rhythmic <clears throat> addition. And I think that I like the idea of ending like this. Like that was really cool. I just, that was the thing I did earlier. <clears throat> but I think that now it should go back, like not do the whole thing. Like just do like the intro, like it's almost like a trick, you know? And I'm not a big fan of things that repeat um, the same like every time. So I think like, I like this vocal. Maybe like the second time it could be like, maybe like over here we do some crazy like delay stuff with it. Um, let me see. Dun 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 dun. It's gotta end like that every time. Dun 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 dun. And then like I like that it goes back to like the carnival vibe. Um Um, this, this, um, I don't know if you guys use this track delay, but this is really nice for just like pushing stuff back. It's pretty much the, the, essentially the same thing as me going like that, like pretty much like just nudging it to the right. <clears throat> um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Agree. Usually using a good, uh, to make, sorry, I'm reading your comments. Uh, a good trick to make repeating things slightly different. Yeah, just like it's like little stuff like that that like makes your song stay interesting. Um, like one of the biggest, I feel like one of the biggest like mistakes that like young producers make is they kind of just make like a short loop, like a two bar loop or a four bar loop. And they're like, you know, if you're starting out and you're making beats for the first time, you're like, everything you do feels like incredible. You're like, wow, I made this you know, four bar loop, but, um, you know, you have to think about like the, the listener's point of view, like the people that aren't producers who are just listening to the song. Like if it just does the same thing over and over and over and over, it's not that interesting. So like you have to like take your two bar loop, your four bar loop and make it grow over time. You know what I mean? So, um, <clears throat> but you can do it in really in really like subtle ways, but you know, definitely important to do it. Um, but let me let me do what I was gonna do here, which was I want to build a reverbed. I want to I want to bring this in because it kind of comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Yo, thanks, Josh. Um, Mr. Bill's tight. Yeah, that's a that's a big compliment. So thank you. Um, so what I want to do is build like a reverbed intro. Some of you have probably done this before, but I'm just going to do it. And if you haven't done this, it's a really good trick for um, getting stuff like if you're bringing in like a new idea or a new, um, you know, from one section of the song to another, um, it's really good to, here, I'll talk over here. It's really cool when you can like basically resample the sound, but it like have it really reverbed out and then reverse that reverb and use that as like a sweep into the next part. Um, so let me show you guys how I would do that. So I just isolated this first chord and I'm actually just gonna like turn off all these, this delay. Cool, and then I just put this reverb on here. I'm just gonna record that um, over here. Might be too long. Let's go like. All right, that sounds pretty good. Let's record that. Uh, that looks pretty. Let's just turn it up, actually, because that's kind of quiet. Oops. Wait, what? I don't remember what volume I was on originally. 11. Okay. Everybody remember 11. Go negative 4. All right, cool. So now let's put this back at negative 11, <clears throat> turn all this stuff back on. And we're just gonna use this here and reverse it. And hopefully it sounds cool leading into the new section. Like um, I'm sliding this around by holding command. That's how you can like slide things off the grid. So really helpful tool for like sweeps and stuff. Now I have to go back here and to delete this <laughs> this reverb. Okay. It's almost like too much. pretty cool um we could even do more like we could try like some auto pan stuff maybe <clears throat> hopefully you guys are hearing this in stereo that sounds pretty sick Can't decide if I wanted to go faster or slower. Now I like it a lot. Whoa. 
Yeah, that's really cool. Um, what key is it in? That's a great question. Um, dun 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 dun. Whatever that note is, that's the key. Dun 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 dun. dun. Let's see. B major. Dun dun dun. B major. <clears throat> This is one of the coolest things I did. I'm not sure if this was on the stream last time or if I did it in between the two. Um, but the way that I went from that like other synth to this synth was with a chain. So I basically built an audio effect rack where there was one version of it that sounds like that. And that's a little uh, reverb send as well. So yeah, I think that was a really cool technique that I'd, I've never really done it like that. I've done other stuff similar, but I thought that was a nice, clean way to use one synth and <clears throat> basically like, you know, have two versions of it. Like this one is the one that's like just a normal synth. And then this one is the one that the LFO here is why it's doing that womp womp stuff. And then, um, the erosion is kind of gives it that like dubstep -y kind of like talk sound like <laughs> what 
what are some returns you are uh used that aren't of the norm returns um if you mean like actual return tracks like these return tracks like i kind of go with the stock stuff i really like using the delay return um and the reverb one like i like having a really big reverb um this one's i mean if i really feel like i need to like sorry there's like a truck outside hopefully you can't hear that um <clears throat> there's I have this other reverb that I use a lot, but um, there's nothing wrong with the stock Ableton reverb as well. It's nice to just throw stuff through reverb while you're writing because it just makes everything kind of like, like stuff like this, like one little one shot, like, you know, I just threw it through the reverb, like negative 20. So it's barely going through the reverb, but it doesn't really need its own reverb. Like reverb sends, I think are really, really important um, to kind of like tie your track together because it makes whenever you put stuff through there it makes everything kind of sit in the same like physical space um but then like you know if you have like a specialty thing happening like this synth has like a reverb like its own reverb um then that's like that's when i would you know use something specific for that you know <laughs> Like this one has reverb in the chain of like what's happening and it also has its own reverb send. So, you know, it's not, it's not bad to have like a reverb send and, uh, and like stuff that has its own reverb. Like, I think that's fine, <clears throat> but yeah, let's, uh, let's just chat, man. Let's just talk for a bit. Um, I feel like I don't want to just bombard you with this project, but I feel like it's coming along well. Um, but you know, I wanted to take a sec and just kind of like chill out, talk to you guys. If you have any other stuff you want to put in the chat or general questions about, um, you know, music stuff or just music life stuff. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty excited. I'm going to, I'm doing three shows this weekend, which is like the most, I've done three shows before, but that's like the max I've ever done, like back to back to back. So tomorrow I'm playing in Denver and then the next day after that is Chicago and then Minneapolis. Um, so if you guys live anywhere near there, come through. Um, yeah, this is like a fun, like kind of like last day in New York before I hit the road. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Little Altar Boy is dope. I don't, do I have Little Altar Boy? I think I have Little Altar Boy. Heck. No, I don't. I have, um, the other one called I thought I have I have sound toys I have something anyways um yeah I mean just also want to just like remind you guys like you know if you ever want to like work one-on-one -on -one with like me or like work in a group or whatever, like 343 has a lot more stuff than just this stream. This stream's kind of like the intro to like what this school is. And I really like, you know, teaching there. And it's been like very fulfilling for me to be able to like, you know, get to do this as my job essentially. Cause this is what I do at home anyways. I just sit around and make beats on Ableton. But now it's like cool. Cause I can kind of like share my knowledge and like what I um, have gotten good at over the years. And I always learn from the students as well. Like you guys always know stuff I don't know. Um, that's what's awesome about music production is like, you know, people, people have such different backgrounds and such different like techniques um, that it's kind of like an endless game of like you just acquiring knowledge, you know, like I've been doing this like eight or nine years and every week I do something or like I, I learn something that I've never thought of like doing and it's like endlessly entertaining to me. <laughs> it's kind of like therapy actually producing beats is like it feels like something that is worthwhile because it's fun, but it's also like potentially like every beat I make is a potential um, song that I could put out and make money from, um, or just not even make money from, but just be like artistically fulfilled by. So, you know, I love it. Um, <clears throat> Bands on me. Yeah. Bands on me is a great track. Um, I felt like that was my intro to like putting out rap music and um it felt like cool because i actually sang on it like i'll pull it up here actually i don't know if i can pull it up unless i throw it into ableton because i'm not 
like sure if I just like pull up Spotify, like, I have to like make sure the audio would route. But if I just drop it into Ableton, it should work. So let's see. Maybe I have like an early version. I don't know. If, I don't know if I have the project because that was on my last computer. Um, I have like rough versions. Where's the Where's the new one? Ooh, I have the demo version. You want to hear the demo version? That'd be kind of cool. <clears throat> Let me see if this one sounds different. Yeah. <laughs> so this one's just me. So that's, I mean, if you like that song, this might be cool for you to see. Um, because this is like what I gave to the... Um, the rapper girl. Yeah, I'll, I'll play the the other one as well. Um, because then you can hear like where it where it eventually landed. <clears throat> where is the official? See, it's hard for me to even find like my songs on my computer. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one's probably good. Try this. Yeah. <clears throat> So this is the the demo version where I just like sang the idea. Okay. It's kind of cool to hear it's kind of cool to hear that because you know that's just like what I showed to the rappers and stuff before um I know TikTok should pick this shit up dude I need to like I need to hire like a TikTok ambassador to like go show TikTok what's up um but here's the if you guys haven't heard the real one this is like what it turned into <laughs> Show to know she dance, she getting paid. Simple as that. Um, this verse is the hardest verse, the second verse. But um, I mean, you can see like it's cool to hear the progression. Like this was just like only me singing, and this was like kind of like the idea. And like I, this rapper girl I worked with, you know, she kind of took it and like 
she sounds cooler because she's like a real rapper and I'm, you know, I'm like a producer that likes to like sing and like bring stuff. I like to layer my voice into stuff kind of like um, almost like as part of like the production. <clears throat> but, you know, I feel like she like actually sold it, you know, and like if you if you listen, I'm still in the background. Like I keep LV on my clothes. I keep hot kicks on my toes. I keep red ones at my shows. I make dance before my goals. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like I layered my voice in and like she's like the lead singer, but it's like I feel like my voice adds and it feels like it's like almost like a choir. So um, <clears throat> what type of processing did I use in the vocals? Josh is Josh is killing it on the on the questions. You got, There's a bunch of people in here. You guys should ask more questions, man. I want to talk to you. Um, vocal stuff. I really like to. Well, I mean, you saw me, you saw me do stuff with those, like that last song, you saw me do chains, like audio effect chains. And for everything with vocals, I do that. Like vocals are like the number one thing I use chains on. <clears throat> um, so let's do that. Let's just like find a random vocal. Actually, let me just record myself right now. Maybe this will work. I don't know. Hopefully this doesn't get weird with like the monitoring and stuff, but um yo 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 okay like let's just like throw down some chords um i'm just gonna cheat actually i'm just gonna look up a chord i don't do this that much because i like to write chords but i'm not really right now i'm just gonna show you vocal stuff so i'm just gonna like pick a random chord progression sick oh i like that you asked about get free k um that's very cool i will definitely talk about well i mean same answer i mean stuff that i do to my vocals is the stuff that i do to bass is the stuff that i do to percussion which is essentially just lots of chains so maybe i'll if i have like 15 minutes maybe i can try to get through a little bit of vocal chain stuff and a little bit of bass chain stuff <clears throat> um I might just have the project for, I'll just end today with Get Free Gay because I think I have that project. Um, but let me, jo Josh is my representative. <laughs> Josh is holding it down. All right, cool. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna sing some nonsense and make it sound good. So here we go. All right, that's gonna be fire. <clears throat> um, pop out this empty space, and hopefully, it's gonna sound whatever. Yeah, I kind of killed it. Um, all right, so EQ8, this is like my first step right here is just Command G. I'm gonna turn this EQ8, like this is gonna be my, my dry channel pretty much. So I'm not gonna really touch this one that much. Let's call it dry. <clears throat> um, and let's make another one. Let's Command D that. <laughs> I just thought Get Freaky was like a clever name. Um, I think it's pretty clear what it means, but you know, it's also like get freaky, you know? <laughs> I used to have a part, I used to have a vocal in there that was like me saying like, get freaky, get freaky. 
Um, but I took it out because I felt like the song was stronger without it. But I still thought it was a really good name. Um, William, I mean, you didn't miss a lot. I'm just, I'm moving on and I'm doing some vocal production stuff. So, all right. So <clears throat> let's, let's auto tune this first. Like that's going to make it sound good. I mean, it sounds kind of cool without it, but, um, we've got to figure out what chord we're in or key we're in. This thing says D minor. I might just trust that. Let's see. Sure, let's just trust it. Um, let's tune myself. D minor. All right, cool. So that's like step one. Tune it. Um, the tuner is going to go at the beginning of my chain because everything that happens after that is... You know, that's like what it needs to come out. That needs to be like the most raw version of me needs to go through the auto tune <clears throat> because essentially now it's like everything that happens after that to the right of that is like audio effects that are going to like accent my cool tuned voice. So we have a dry channel. Let's have a reverb channel. And on the reverb channel, we're going to put it at 100% because we already have a dry channel. So yeah, you can kind of see my thought process. I'm just kind of building chains and I'm, I'm generally going to do like, or actually the most important thing that I, I did OTT too fast. I think that's like kind of like a last minute, like crazy thing you can do, but I think a delay chain is actually more important. Um, hundred <clears throat> percent. And let's do like the, the main thing that's cool about doing these effect tracks is that we can, mix it like we can turn some of them down they don't all have to be the equal volume you know Shit, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's just recap. Um, if I turn all this stuff off, sounds like this. Let's turn it back on. Uh, 
the reason I like this glue compressor thing at the end is because I like to mix all this stuff like kind of in like a way that's like a little too quiet. And then I like to use the glue compressor to basically crank it all up so that like whenever things get quiet, um, all these little background things kind of come out, you know, because I'm, I'm cranking the gain here and I'm squashing it back down. So this is a little too aggressive probably. Like I'll probably find a middle point where this is more like, I don't know, less like, because I can do like, this can be less aggressive if I, if I get more like, um, aggr more aggressive with these volumes, but I like the volume. I like the way that the volumes work more with a glue compressor than I do with just the volumes because the glue compressor is actually like, you know, squashing everything together. It's like, it's like, these are my four ingredients that go in my pie, my vocal pie. <laughs> and this is like the oven. <laughs> I've never used that uh that analogy but I think it's really good. So yeah, baking a pie right here. These are my ingredients and then this is like it all cooks in here and gets compressed and like becomes one big beautiful apple pie. <clears throat> so yeah, that's that's kind of like my go-to method for most things. Um I don't know. Na na na. Sure. <clears throat> Um, why do you do it that way over utility? Um, utility is just going to be a volume thing. You said he, he asked, uh, you use makeup over utility tool for the gain at the end. So yeah, I mean, I just like the glue compressor because it has that option. Like the whole point of my, of me using this is like to pull up the volume and then crank it back down with the threshold. So, um, Glueberry pie, <laughs> bruh. That's a great. That might be the name of the track now. Glueberry pie. I think you might have named my last track too. Somebody named my like the last one was called Make uh, Makeup Time or something. That was from the last stream. But <clears throat> um, let's try to wrap up here. And I forgot what the name of Get Free K was back in the day. Let's let's see if I can find it. If I have like it's probably called something else. Yeah, that's why I like this this method I have here, which is more based off like time, because then I can actually look for when I made it. Um, I probably made it in like this area, maybe. Probably back here. I don't know. I'll try it. Maybe for next week I can pull up that. Um, <clears throat> maybe it's this one. It's probably this one. Um, I used to stream on Twitch more before I moved to New York, but now that I have this set up, I'll probably start doing it more often. Hey, we found it. Okay, Get Freaky. So you were asking about the bass on Get Freaky. So... <laughs>
Yeah, that's so that's pretty much it. Um it's it's kind of like a it's like a serum preset that I kind of like tweaked. I was showing you that, but most of what's making it cool is like all this stuff in the chains, which is kind of what I, you know, was talking about before. Like this one's like a nice like I love this chain. This is a This is like the meanest chain ever. That one's like very high end. Like there's not a lot of bass in that chain. That's just like just the mid range top. And then the other one is like the more bassy one. Um, but actually this bass isn't really the bass because there's an 808 above it. Like this is kind of the actual. And that's pretty rare for me. This is just that, that it's just one chain. Um, usually my bases have a lot of chains as well. Um, but yeah, like this one's pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad I was able to pull this up at the end here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll wrap up here in a bit. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for coming through and just remind you that I teach at this school at 343. Um, if you guys live in New York, or if you want to sign up for like online stuff, um, this is, you know, kind of like my day job here because uh, can't be a crazy degenerate DJ 24 hours a day. Um, but this weekend I can. So <laughs> if you guys live in any of those cities, um, I'll be in Denver tomorrow, Chicago Friday and Minneapolis Saturday. Um, come through, come say hi, come tell me that you were at this stream. Um, and if not, then I'll hopefully see you somewhere in the 343 universe. Um, 343labs.com is where you can find out more about all that stuff. And, you know, there's also like the Black Friday deals right now. So just go check out that website, 343labs.com, and you can like connect with them and they'll tell you how to connect with me. Um, and if not, or whatever, I'll see you next week. I'll be here next week, same time. And we can, if you guys want to like write down specific stuff you want me to go over or questions, like, you know, while you think about it, like this week, just think about it and write it down and then maybe bring it up at the beginning of next week. And I can like go into some more specific stuff. If you have specific questions, um, let me check on the chat here. <clears throat> I was getting off on the degeneration and all, um, all right, cool. Yeah, it sounds like everybody's chilling. It was awesome talking with you guys. Much love. Hopefully, I'll see you next week. Hopefully, I'll see you at the school. Hopefully, I'll see you somewhere. Um, and go make some fire 